Hi, I'm Debbie Crenister with StampWithDeb.com and today I am here to show you a great way to use up your extra DSP. I have a stack probably 15 inches high of designer series paper that is retiring just from this year. So I need to use it up and I need to do some fun and great things with it. So that's what we're gonna do. This cute little box that I have, Rhonda Wade showed us how to make these and a card and the envelope all out of one sheet of paper. So let's get started. Let me just turn this down so you can see where I'm going. Okay, so we're gonna start with our designer series paper. And I just love this little one. I think it would be such a cute gift box for a child. So that's what we're gonna do is a card and a gift box. So I'm gonna start with cutting off two and a half inches off of the paper. Now, because my paper has a pattern, I want it to go, I wanna make sure that I cut the two and a half inches off either the top or the bottom of the pattern so that it, um, so that my animals don't end up sitting upside down at any point. So we're gonna start with cutting off the two and a half inches. We're gonna set this aside, we're gonna use this later. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to score at two inches, putting it in portrait. And I want my scoring blade. And then I'm going to take it out and turn it around. And I'm going to score at two inches from the other edge. Okay. Then I'm going to put this in landscape and I'm going to score at one inch. three inches, at six and a half inches, which is right in that groove there between the arm and the, the board. So six and a half inches, right there. And eight and a half inches. Okay, and we are done with this. And I will put all these measurements on my blog. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bone folder and we're going to burnish all of these lines so that we can see where they are, first of all. And we are going to cut them to make our box. So then I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut off, I'm going to find my one inch and with more paper snips I'm going to just trim off this entire little square and then I'm going to cut each one of these to the two inch score line. Remember when we scored on two inches going up that side of that paper? So I'm going to go right to that two inch score line. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm sure that you know how to do this. Okay, and then we're going to turn around. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to trim these to the two inch score line. All three of them. If I did this right, my animals will not be upside down. Um, and I am going to cut out this little one inch square here. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so let's turn this over now. Okay, so then we're going to put adhesive on, not the first one, but the second, the second little, these flaps. And for this, I like to use our, our liquid mono. I have a feeling my animals are gonna be upside down, <laughs> after all. 
because I'm seeing them this way and I don't think I should be seeing them this way. And we're gonna bring this one, which is the part that is the biggest part here. My animals are, no, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine because I forgot my box is gonna sit a different way. Okay, and you just wanna bring that in and hold it. And the thing I love about the, the adhesive, this adhesive is that if it's not lined up right, I can just quickly scoot it a little bit if it needs to be. Okay, then I'm going to put adhesive here and I'm putting it on the outside of that that I just created and it looks like I'm running out of adhesive here. And we're gonna bring this up and just attach that there. Same thing on this side. And you do that, you just kinda wanna hold it for a second or two, just to be sure that it stays in place. Okay, there's my cute little box. Okay, these little flaps, I'm just gonna tuck them inside now, if I had something I wanted to put in, that's when it would go in. These would be great to make up and set aside because you don't have to put the glue on them. You can hold off on putting that glue, put a little sticky note on it that says put glue here so you remember where the glue goes. And you can make up a bunch of them and store them. And that's what I'm going to do. So now I have this cute little box right here. So let's decorate it. And I left my ribbon on the other side of the room. So I'm going to grab that really quick. And I am using the granite gray. And I'm just going to take it, wrap it around, and tie it in a bow. So there's. I'm going to probably get too much of this, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, so we're just going to tie a sweet little bow on the outside of this. My box is not going to sit. It's, this is the opening here. The, bow, the ribbon is holding it closed, but it's not going to sit this way. It's going to sit this way. So next I want to use, um, I want to make a tag for the front of my box. So I am going to, I've already die cut this from our layering ovals. And I have cut this from our layering, our stitch shapes. And so I am using Animal Outing for um, my project here today, since that coordinates with the um, paper. Let me, oops, I'm not going to use him. I have already stamped him. I'm going to stamp Wild About You. And I'm gonna need a couple blocks. Okay, and I'm going to stamp it in granite gray, what it should be for granite. I'm going to stamp it in gray granite. So it's wild about you. Okay, and then I'm going to attach it to our oval here. And we'll just use this glue for that. Put it right on there. Okay, I'm going to use a 1 8 inch hole punch here. I was going to say 3 8 and that would be a huge hole punch. And punch a hole in there and I have some silver and white the silver and white baker's twine that we're still carrying for now. Um, this will go away in the new catalog, so all of this, the paper will be gone. Um, this ribbon is staying, but most of what is here will be gone in the new catalog. But this is a way to show you to use up your old designer series papers. And then I'm just gonna tie this on here with a little knot. And I'm going to add a little tail 
open up. Okay, and then I want a dimensional because I want to hold that little tag in place. I think it's so adorable. So cute. I'm very pleased. And you see my animals are all going the right direction. Ha! <laughs> okay. Let's move on and do the card. So for the card, it's really simple. You're just going to take that leftover paper that you had. I'm going to trim it down to five inches, I believe it is. Okay, so I have my, um, my card base here and my granite gray. And my whisper white, which I need to cut down. My whisper, whisper white is going to be three and three quarters by five. this to five and I'm going to cut just a little bit a quarter of an inch off of this it just seems way too tall to me when I put it on my paper earlier okay so I will just attach this to my whisper white to attach my ribbon. Oh, well, let's attach this first. Oops, glue on the wrong one. Well, I think I missed that spot. Okay, we'll attach this to the granite gray. And that's why I like the glue, because then I can adjust it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my granite gray ribbon and a glue dot, which I have my glue dots hanging here, and I have a ribbon tied around them so that they are handy because that's one thing I never seem to be able to find on my desk for some strange reason. And so I have hung them on my light. And the glue dots work really well for the ribbon. Okay, so let's adjust that. Then we're going to attach this to our card base. And I think this should be a birthday card for a special little boy with a special little box. So we're gonna stamp this oval that I cut out with um, Delightful Day. Delightful Day is one of the new sets from our, that's coming out in the new catalog on June 4th. So I have played with it. You can see that my stamps are getting red already. And to attach it to my oval background, which is lost. I have lost my oval background. Here it is. My scallop oval. Okay, I also cut out and colored and use the dies on these two cute little giraffes, which now I've lost one of them on the floor. <laughs> okay, um, these cute little giraffes, and I am going to put one on this one, this oval, just right on the edge there, 
And then I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals to attach this to my card. And I'm going to put that other little giraffe on the wild about you, the little tag. Hmm, let's see where we want to put him. I think he's going to have to go on that side. Whoops. <laughs> trim our ribbon here too. It looks kind of raggedy. That one's okay. Okay. So there is our card. Okay, now the last piece of our DSP we're going to attach to an envelope just to make it all coordinate. It's all about coordination, right? So we're going to attach this to here. Make sure it's right side up. Thought those monkeys were upside down, but they are upside down. And then I'm gonna come along with my scissors and just trim this off. These are Stampin' Up! scissors, but they have long since retired, but I love them. I have one pair I use for ribbon and one pair I use for papers. And they have just been the best scissors. They're just, they make trimming easier. But our paper snips are great too. And they'll work perfect for this. And there is the envelope. So now we have these three. We have our cute little envelope, which coordinates with our cute little card, which matches our box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that you need to purchase, please support me as a small business owner and click on my link and take go to my website and all these things are still available online right now thank you very much and you have a wonderful day bye bye